I'm just saying there is one Stargate that I feel like we need to bring back. Stargate Infinity. Hello, interwebs. <laughs> yes, for those of you who remember Stargate Infinity, the like Saturday morning cartoon Stargate that they did, like right around the time that Stargate SG-1 started, props to you, because that is a deep cut that no one remembers that show. I love Stargate Infinity. It is bonkers crazy. Uh, but anyways, today, on that note, I wanted to talk about something a little bit uh, interesting, because for those of you who don't know, I don't really talk about this on either of my channels, uh, mostly because it hasn't really been in the conversation for a very long time, but I am a huge Stargate fan. Um, I love the movie, but I grew up on Stargate SG-1, and especially Stargate Atlantis. I even like Stargate Universe. I know people hate that show, and while I found it to be kind of boring at times, um, I think it finally picked up steam and was really finding a good place in the Stargate Universe when it was ultimately canceled, which is kind of uh, upsetting because it was actually surprisingly good and sort of did its own thing. But also, Star Atlantis is my favorite one, and Rodney McKay is my favorite character. I love my boy Rodney. He is literally the best. But anyways, uh, <laughs> the point being is that Stargate is a franchise that I really, really love, but haven't had a lot of opportunity to talk about because there hasn't been much news going on. I think the last thing that we got was Stargate Origins, which was that like little web series that they did uh, sort of to beef up their like Stargate streaming service, which no one remembers no one talks about uh mgm did i should say uh and stargate origins was very contentious i personally thought it was okay for what it was is like a very low budget web series i even interviewed the director um on this channel a while ago when i worked at pride media so you can check out that video maybe i'll i'll pop that up here on my main channel not this channel i should say um but anyways, I know it was very contentious. It's not clearly not the best thing in the Stargate universe. Um, but other than that, we really haven't got much Stargate. But recently, Amazon bought MGM. And there has been talks of Amazon actually doing stuff with MGM's numerous properties that MGM just sat on and did nothing with because they're weird and silly and I understand why they got bought. Because I, By the way, I should say I interned at MGM uh, at one point in my life. Let's just say I actually, that was the only internship in my life that I ever left because it was not great. So, and I'll leave it there. But uh, but Amazon recently purchased MGM. And despite my reservations with Amazon, more than reservations, I hate Amazon as a company. But I feel like at least uh, one thing that I do like about Amazon overall is I like some of the media properties uh, that they bring to the fore and some of the things that they do with those media properties. Like I think of The Expanse being a great show that they saved from Sci-Fi Channel, brought forward and just made an, like continued one of my favorite science fiction series ever done on television. So, terrible company, but, you know, if they're giving me sci-fi shows, at least I can talk about that. <laughs> Uh, but Amazon sucks. But anyways, getting to the point of that, with Amazon owning MGM, they now own the rights to Stargate and can possibly do something new with Stargate. So there's been some talks about maybe possibly Stargate might get something done with it. So I want to talk about what I would want Stargate today to look like. What would I want it to be? Because um, I think it'll be kind of a fun little conversation to have. So let's get into it. The first question that I think many people would ask is, should Stargate re be a reboot if we were going to create a new Stargate or should it continue off the continuity of the old Stargate continuity that was created with SG-1, Atlantis, and Universe? The arguments for a reboot would obviously be what many reboots are even reboots, reboots are even for, which is sort of create a fresh jumping on point where people who don't necessarily know the entire backlog of the mythology can sort of jump onto. I feel like most people, 90% of people who see Stargate will only know the movie. And even then, they might not even completely know that, but they would probably get the idea of like, oh, it's traveling to different uh, worlds. It kind of has like an Egyptian, Indiana Jones-esque type theme to it, um, which would be interesting to try to do in a non-rebooted continuity because if, spoilers for those who haven't seen Stargate SG-1, they kind of ended the sort of Goa'uld threat, which was sort of the main threat of the movie. And that was sort of an eight-season arc with the Goa'uld uh, that finally came to an end and then became sort of a different thing with the Ori in the final two seasons, um, which I actually liked. I liked the Ori. Um, and then Stargate Atlantis and Stargate Universe kind of did their complete own thing, um, with Atlantis kind of being an entire new galaxy and dealing with the Wraith and this sort of like darker horror vibe. We also have the Replicants, uh, as well as sort of like a major villain in both SG-1 Atlantis and then Universe just surviving was the sort of main enemy of that series. I remember there being like an alien race that I don't remember particularly too well. Uh, they didn't really dive into them as much as they could have uh, in future seasons. Um, but anyways, big mythology there. And the sort of main thing that people would know about the show, like the Egyptian type setting slash like universe hopping bit to it, wouldn't necessarily be as inherent if the mythology was kept. 
So I can understand the argument for a reboot being a fresh starting place, sort of like, let's bring it back. Let's just maybe say the movie is canon and everything else isn't, or maybe just completely remove the movie from canon and just start somewhere fresh. I would actually argue that we should keep the continuity fresh. I mean, I'm obviously a fan of these things, so it's easy for me to say, but I look at something like Star Trek today, um, even Star Wars to a degree, but I think I think Star Trek sort of has a better example of this than Star Wars does, because sort of everything Star Wars does is people, uh, people generally know all of Star Wars outside of like maybe the cartoon shows but with something like star trek not everyone knows every little piece of star trek lore most people know kirk spock mccoy um you, you know the sort of original series cast and maybe the next generation with like picard data Riker, that sort of thing and beyond that most people wouldn't know like deep space nine maybe they'll know janeway they almost certainly won't know enterprise but they'll know tng in the original series so when we went to the kelvin universe smartly what i think that reboot did was sort of focus on that those types of characters that everyone knew and yet kept that continuity and i know the kelvin universe was contentious but i feel like that was sort of a have your cake and eat it too and i think star trek 2009 despite all the uh, many other problems that people have with it that i personally like but other i think that part of it keeping the continuity still there while also kind of rebooting it in a new universe was smart but i would rather take the uh, route of something like star trek discovery or um star trek lower decks i think lower decks actually might be the sort of better um, sort of example of what I would love a new Stargate show to be, which is Star Trek Lower Decks has all the continuity of Star Trek. It references the continuity heavily, and yet still feels like it's going to be a jumping on point for new people. It's sort of like a fresh adventure, fresh people, but sort of keeps a lot of the aesthetic of this. And I feel like that's something you could do really well with a Stargate show. You could just keep the idea of a Stargate team that is going through the gate to other galaxies, other places, but still have all that continuity in the back end. Maybe even bring in cameos of like Richard Dean Anderson or Ben Broder. I want more Ben Broder in my life. We need more Ben Broder. Claudia, uh, Claudia Black as well needs to come back as well. I, you haven't seen much of those two in so long, and I love them both. Um, maybe bring in Teal'c, um, you know, things like that. Like bring in these legacy characters here and there, reference these things, but still kind of like have a new starting palette. Like give us a new big villain. Give us that new team. And I feel like the first Stargate show back should be kind of a resetting of that dynamic. Like a reboot, uh, a soft reboot, but still keeping all the continuity there. The next big thing that people sort of ask is like, well, should it be a TV show or should it be a movie? I feel like it should probably be... My impetus leans towards TV show. I feel like Amazon does have some really great movies, but I feel like this sort of like adventure hopping bit just fits so well in a TV show. And it's something we don't have a ton of today. Uh, it looks like we might be getting it in Star Trek with Stargate Strange New Worlds. But outside of that show coming along, we don't really have just a fun romp sci-fi show. Um, the, I think the closest thing I can think of are like the Arrowverse shows, which aren't really sci-fi. They're superheroes. Uh, and that's sort of like fill that niche of like a sci-fi show where we get to like have like a fun like villain of the week sort of thing. But I just loved the old Stargate shows and Star Trek and all those sort of things where it was just like a cool sci-fi concept every single week. And we don't get a ton of that. Most science fiction today is like big, grand, sweeping stories. I would very much love a show that's just like, no, we can have like a weird, cool sci-fi fiction concept every single week, explore it a little bit, and it has a little bit of character drama in there as well. I feel like that's something we need, and we've kind of lost a little bit in sort of this modern renaissance of television shows, where everything has to be this like prestige television. I just want the like campy sort of B-movie, not that Stargate was campy necessarily, but it had this sort of like more fun adventure of the week type vibe. And I feel like that's something we could get back to and would feel fresh today. And so I feel like a new Stargate show should go the TV show out and sort of keep that, but update it to a modern aesthetic. Like do something, you know, update the visuals, um, tell more modern stories. Like, you know, going back to watch the old Stargate shows, there are some cringe aspects to it, especially sort of in the earlier seasons of that show. Uh, so I feel like bring it into sort of a modern setting, a modern sensibility, maybe show a little bit more diversity on the team. Um, not that Stargate was, Stargate was always fairly diverse, but you know, obviously could do more. Um, I think that that would be a really, really wonderful thing to do with this, uh, with this show. The other thing that I would say beyond that, that I would want is, and this is something that I kind of feel in so many science fiction concepts today. Uh, I feel like the expanse is, and even the expanse kind of has a feel for it too. Um, but I, I feel like so much science fiction, um, is centered upon military and military characters. Like, Star Trek is, you know, as much as you want to say Starfleet is not a military, and clearly its goals are different than, like, the United States military today, but I feel like 
it still has that sort of militaristic feel to a degree, that sort of hierarchy. I feel like the only thing that breaks away from that a little bit is Star Trek Picard. And Star Trek Picard, even though it is more civilian focused, you still have Picard, who used to be a Starfleet character, and there's a lot of Starfleet characters in that show, uh, or ex-Starfleet characters in that show, um, that it still kind of has that vibe to a degree. And I would just much rather a more civilian focused series. It's one of the things that I liked about Stargate Atlantis a lot more. While Atlantis had a sort of militaristic feel to it still, you had Shepard being the sort of main commander. Um, but it, there was more civilians and more scientists involved in that show than the sort of straight military folks that you had on SG-1 and in other science fiction series. And so that's something I would actually really love to sort of see Stargate do a little bit more. Maybe if you're doing sort of a reboot idea, maybe it's just like, okay, now the Stargate program has become known to the wider public. And it's not just the military that gets to go through, but you also have civilians that are able to like, we're going to go out and explore and do some science-y stuff. Sort of have that sort of Star Trek feel to it, but much less like violent uh, or sort of overtly militaristic things like we're defending the galaxy. Now, I clearly think that, you know, you're going to have to involve the military in some way, shape, or form, probably. I mean, maybe you don't. You, there's some ways to not do it, but I would love a little bit more leaning towards what Stargate Atlantis did and even go a little bit further where maybe you have like one, maybe two military people, but sort of, or, or more, you know, protector type role people but move into a more civilian mindset. I think that that would be a lot more fun, something that would be able to be like, look, we're a Stargate show, we're doing something Stargate-y, but something a little bit more fresh, something a little bit more interesting to those of you who have seen Stargate can sort of get something new. Um, and I feel like that would be uh, kind of fun and interesting. Um, I think that, that those are sort of my main points. I mean, obviously you could do a lot more with it, like have a bigger threat, have uh, like the Goa World War or something like that. I feel like that's something you want to do, but I still want to kind of keep it a story of the week focus as opposed to like prestige long form storytelling. Uh, I think that you could do much more individualistic stories uh, as opposed to like having sort of one big grand arc, like something like Star Trek Discovery does um, every single episode. Uh, I think that that would be a little bit more fresher um, overall. But yeah, I feel like those are sort of my main thoughts on what a Stargate show could be in sort of the broad sense. I, I mean, obviously I have a lot of specifics about what a Stargate show should be. I mean, but that would be something that I would be like, if someone asked me, is like, hey, Jesse, can you come in today and give us your Stargate TV show pitch? That would be what I would do. This is sort of what I'm thinking more in terms of just like broad sensibilities of what like maybe someone at the like executive level would sort of think like, oh, let's do a Stargate show. What would that look like? Um, and so I'd love to hear what your thoughts though on a Stargate series would be. What Do you want Stargate to come back? Do you feel like it's uh, past its prime? Do you think it's an outdated concept? Or do you think we should bring it back? Should it be something that we, we discuss? And I'd love to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more discussions on uh, like geek topics, fun topics like this. I also have a main channel where I talk uh, in a more video essay type format about uh, science fiction, fantasy, all that fun nerdy stuff, but in a much more sort of like uh, less or more structured way than this channel is. Um, and I also have a Patreon where you can help support me doing what I do. Beyond all that, I hope that you, as always, Live long and stay sexy.